problems with dandelions. Yes. I pull them out and they come back. They just keep coming out. And do you know why those dandelions keep coming back up? That's because they have a tap root. And if you go to pull it and you don't get that whole plant, exactly, you just get another plant that starts. Worst thing to do is go and till up the whole area because then all of a sudden you've got all these chopped up pieces of root everywhere and you're going to have a nightmare. There's more dandelion growing and it's hard to get rid of. Okay, there's some products on the market that you can use to get rid of that. First, I'm going to talk about corn gluten meal. Has any, anybody ever heard of corn gluten meal? Okay, that's this product here. And I brought this as a sample. This is a big bag of it and you can get smaller bags of it. Okay, now corn gluten meal has numbers 800 or 900 or 1000. That is on your sheet that you have. There's a sheet that's gonna tell you about that. Now, if you use this between the middle of April to the end of April, this is going to help to get rid of weed seed, like dandelion seed, like crabgrass seed. This is very good for that. This does not get rid of existing weeds or crabgrass, but it, what it does is it destroys the soil. And what I mean by that is it desecrates the soil. And what happens is that seed cannot germinate in that soil area. So this will last in the soil six to eight weeks. And then you can do it again after that for another six to eight weeks. So you really only want to use this product twice, early spring, late spring, early summer, and sometimes you can use it in early September, late August. It kills everything. It doesn't. It kills weed. It doesn't. It kills the weed seed by destroying the soil. Oh. So it can't germinate. So you destroy the soil, that the grass won't grow there either. No, no. It doesn't kill. It doesn't bother anything that's existing. Oh. It just desecrates the soil where the weed seed is. Oh. So because it has a first number, okay, your first number is nitrogen, your second number is phosphorus, your third number is potassium. That's what the lineup is of the three numbers on fertilizer bags. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing with corn gluten meal. When you look at those numbers, you'll see one number. That's that first number and that's nitrogen. And what that does is it greens up your grass. It greens up whatever. It could even green up a weed. But at least we can start using this. And it doesn't work, all, it doesn't work 100% on the first year. It has to build up for the first two, three years. So the first year you'll notice maybe you have a few less weeds. The second year you go to use this, you'll have a lot less weeds. And by the third year, you might not have any weeds. Okay, so for instance, you want to put down grass seed in the spring? Well, then you won't be able to use this because it doesn't notice the difference between a lawn seed and a weed seed. So you might want to wait till fall to overseed. And that's a really great time to overseed your lawn. If you're going to use this, then you might, you, see this, is, this has an open window of the middle of April to the beginning of May, and that's in the Okanagan. In the coast, it's a little bit earlier. So if you're thinking of overseeding, then you don't want to use this for sure. Okay? So there's little catches to certain organics <coughs> and other organics. Okay, and you want to know if this is safe for your animal? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is an organic product. This is safe. I would say watch out that they don't. Like, you're going to scatter it by broadcasting it. You just want to watch out they're not out there because they might eat it. A dog might eat it. You know, sometimes dogs are prone to licking up um, corn gluten meal. Bone meal is another one that they'll eat up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so you want to be careful about that. What does he do? What does he do? Oh, he, he might just feel kind of icky in his stomach. Okay. Yeah. His, he might have a little diarrhea. Might fertilize the lawn. Might fertilize the lawn. <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. Burn the lawn. <laughs> burn the lawn. If you're going to use it as a weed seed killer or to destroy the soil so it doesn't germinate, wait 12 hours before you irrigate or rainfall. That's very important. And then you're fine after that.